Chapter 942, Meeting an Old Friend Li Kai noticed that Yi Chiyun's curiosity was beyond containment. He smiled and said, Chiyun, you can say what's on your mind, there's no need to hold it in, Brother Li is a disciple from the Cleansing Incense Ancient Sect. She stated, this was something everyone knew and also the thing that puzzled her the most. She curiously continued, Brother Li, I really didn't try to peek into your past, but I heard that you didn't grow up in that sect and instead joined it later on. This is not a secret, anyone who wants to know my background would know this. Yes, I was lucky and joined the sect to become its disciple. Li Kai nodded. This made her even more curious and inquisitive. Why did Brother Li pick the cleansing and sense ancient sect? In my opinion, you are a brilliant talent with exceptional abilities. There is nothing that you can't do and nothing you don't know. And? Li Kai chuckled after hearing this. In my shallow view, if I were you, if it was between the cleansing and sense ancient sect and heaven guard, I am only a human so I would pick heaven guard. She revealed what was on her mind. She had a certain perception of him at this moment. Since he could make four he even act so respectfully, it wouldn't have been difficult for him to join heaven guard in the past. Even a fool could make the easy choice between cleansing incense and heaven guard. Although cleansing incense was once an imperial lineage, it had fallen to a third-rate sect, if it could even be considered that. Meanwhile, heaven guard had three emperors and loomed over the world. Such a choice was very simple. Anyone would close their eyes and pick heaven guard. Li Kai looked at Yi Chiyun and smiled. Chiyun, backgrounds don't matter to me. It doesn't matter if it's heaven guard or the most humble and lowly of backgrounds. I can still head for the apex and cause myriad worlds to lose their lights as I reign supreme. With that, Li Kai stared toward the far horizon with a serious expression. I picked cleansing and sense because of a very simple reason. We are connected by fate. Yi Chiyun turned silent. She couldn't help but wryly smile afterward. Perhaps, only Li Kai could utter such words with confidence. Come, we'll head for the holy city. Li Kai looked at the stunned girl and spoke with a smile. She calmed down and quickly chased after Li Kai. The two of them left Heaven Guard. Because Li Kai was not in a rush to reach the holy city, he took his time enjoying the beautiful scenery while setting their boat eastbound through the streams. The southern barren earth was a wondrous land. Despite its name, rivers extending to all directions could be found everywhere. In this region, one could reach any location by water. Li Kai continued to enjoy the beautiful scenes while growing sentimental at a few locations due to recalling people of the past. Along the way, Yi Chiyun did a good job taking care of him as if she was a maid. Today, she was the ruler of a country, a genius virtuous paragon. However, she didn't act prideful or dignified before Li Kai. Li Kai liked her as well. While watching her row the boat, he asked with a smile, Chiyun, if you are willing, I can take you in. Yi Chiyun revealed a gentle smile upon hearing this and answered, I appreciate your adoration. Never mind. I suppose you and I are not meant to be. Li Kai understood her implication and didn't force the issue. Yi Chiyun gently shook her head and explained, Brother Li misunderstood my intention. I really do appreciate your sentiment. These words come from my heart. With that, she stared at him and gently sighed. Your talents are peerless and I trust that one day, myriad world will tremble because of you. I am weak and won't amount to much by staying at your side. You already have great people like Xuangin and Beijiao, so me staying by your side is akin to embroidering flowers already on fine silk. My presence is not necessary. She continued on, so it is better to stay at my school and be friends with you. In the future, I will be content if you come visit me whenever you are at the barren earth. Having said that, she sighed again with an inexplicable melancholic expression. She understood that she was giving up many things with this choice. However, she stood by it. Everyone has their own wishes. I will not force the issue. Li Kai nodded. It is also my honor to have known you. Yi Chiyun smiled warmly. She was the snow melting in spring and quietly soothed the heart. As they traveled on their boat, there was a lot of fun along the way. This particular day, the tiny waves swayed the tiny ship. Li Kai was seated at the boat to savor the view. Meanwhile, Yi Chiyun sat to the side and controlled the fire nearby to brew him tea. No matter the high winds or strong tides, the two of them sat on the boat as if they were within their own comfy room. Suddenly, Li Kai's eyes narrowed before speaking. Since you are already here, show yourself. Brother Li is unbeatable. Please excuse Su Ayao. A very pleasant voice that could cause the souls of others to flutter rang out. This voice was like a fine wine. People would become lost within the taste. A woman drifted onto the small boat. The sun and moon became listless and the flowers lost their colors upon her arrival. She was as transcendent as an immortal and would cause people to wonder if she was a fairy lost in the mortal world. However, despite her supreme style, Li Kai only glanced at her once without caring too much. She landed on the boat and slightly bowed towards Yi Chiyun. Miss Yi, please excuse my sudden visit. Yi Chiyun looked at the woman head who was capable of inciting inferiority in all other girls in this world and responded, You are too polite, goddess Mai. Welcome to our humble vessel. The newcomer was world-renowned. It was the enchanting Mai Su Aya who was called goddess Mai by others, the goddess in many young men's minds. Yi Chiyun invited her down as the host and seated her opposite to Li Kai. Her glistening eyes were like flowing water, causing the world to calm. The wind stopped and the tides receded. It was as if she had a peerless charm that was harmonious with the rhythm of the world. This scene meant that Maisu Aya was already powerful to a fearful level. Although she was not showing her aura, the ones who were more discerning would be shocked from seeing this. Brother Li, I was out of line earlier. Please forgive me. Maisu Aya was a goddess. Her words could immediately win people over. I was not trying to gauge you and I'm only here to avoid chaos. Li Kai was indifferent to Maisu Aya. He had met all kinds of supreme women, so she couldn't charm him. He looked her up and down as if he was enjoying each of her curves. Such an action could be said to be extremely rude and frivolously perverted. 
Any outsider would yell at Li Kai. However, Mai Su Ayao did not become angry. She calmly met his gaze and let him enjoy looking at her in such a meticulous manner. Keep in mind that Mai Su Ayao was very famous right now. Her cultivation had reached an unfathomable level. Her beauty was kingdom toppling. Countless young geniuses were in love with her in the mortal emperor world. They would treat her with utmost respect and wouldn't act in such a callous manner. It has been a while and you have become much more beautiful. Even I have to like you. Li Kai judged her and gently nodded. No matter how calm she was, her face contained a faint hint of red upon hearing these words, but it quickly passed away. Don't get me wrong. I am not praising your beauty. Li Kai stared at her and smiled. It looks like you are no longer running around as a sanctus. Good. This is an improvement. She was indeed different from before. Back then, no matter where she went, there would be countless visions accompanying her steps. However, there was nothing this time, as if she has returned to the origin. Thank you for your kind words. Maisu Ayao bowed with her soft figure and spoke, It is all thanks to you that I have reached this level. Your words woke me up from my dream, and I have greatly benefited from them. Enlightenment is good so that you won't put the ala of fragrance down to waste. Li Kai nodded and leisurely accepted her gesture. With that, he stared at her and asked, You didn't run all around the world for no reason, right? Why are you here at the barren earth? In the mortal emperor world, Maisu Ayao's status was extremely noble. No one would dare to question her in such a rude manner. 